Let's start with a clip of Ted Cruz. This is Ted Cruz yesterday uh, talking to Department of Homeland and Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas over child sex trafficking on the border. And this is something else. What are these wristbands? I don't know what they are. You don't, don't know. know what they are. Mr. Secretary, you have just testified to the American people you're incompetent at your job because I've been to the southern border. And if you go to the southern border, along the southern border, you see thousands of these wristbands because the illegal immigrants wear them. The drug cartels, every color corresponds to how many thousands of dollars they owe the cartels. You have turned these cartels into multi-billion dollar criminal organizations. And these are modern day leg irons because these are children being sold into sex slavery and you don't even know what they are. That is astonishing. Mr. Secretary, how many children have been sold into sex slavery under your administration? Senator, we are taking it to the cartel. How many children have been sold into sex slavery? In an Do you know how many children have been sold into sex slavery? To an unprecedented degree. Mr. Secretary, I want to say to you right now, it is precisely your behavior is disgraceful, and the deaths the children assaulted, the children raped, they are at your feet. And if you had integrity, you would resign. Look, I mean, I, w I was pissed off. Um, I was pissed off, A, because I've seen too much of this. I mean, I spend a lot of time on our southern border. Um, I've seen too many of these children who've been sexually abused and brutalized. I've seen the dead bodies on our southern border. And Mayorkas has such utter contempt that it was infuriating. He refused to answer even a single question the entire hearing. I mean, you could ask him what day it was and he wouldn't give you a straight answer. He was just, he had his talking points. That's what he was going to say. And, you know, his, his crocodile tears, his empty expressions of empathy. I, I, I feel for the people who are dying of overdoses. No, you don't. Yeah. If, if you feel for them, you would stop doing what's causing it. He's the one who's opened up the border. And the sad reality is the man doesn't give a damn that 100,000 people died of an overdose last year because if he did, he wouldn't preside over a wide open border that is turning the drug cartels into multi-billionaires. One more clip from the hearing yesterday. Uh, you were not thrilled with his sort of stammering answers. Uh, here we go. Has the crisis at our southern border made Americans less safe? Yes or no? Senator? We are dedicated to the safety. Has the crisis made Americans less uh, safe? I don't. I don't want a, a discourse. It's a yes or no question. Senator, we have a challenge of. You refuse to answer the question. Not, Se Mr. Secretary. Let me show you how someone doing his job answers a question in a straightforward manner. Chief Ortiz, is the crisis that is currently ongoing at the southern border making the border less safe for Americans and aliens alike, answer yes. One word, one syllable, three letters. That's how someone answers a question and does their job. You're being a politician misleading the American people. Let me give you a chance again. Will you show the same integrity Chief Ortiz shows? Is the crisis at the southern border making Americans less safe, yes or no? Senator, we have 260,000 You refuse to answer the question. Let's move on.